Hey everybody, it's Big John back again. Gonna talk about some screwdrivers today. Got, got this set I showed in my toolbox tour. These uh, channel lock code blue striking cap. And they've got the hex shank on them. So you can put a wrench on there. Yeah, you know, I don't see too many people talking about these on YouTube. Haven't seen I've only seen one or maybe two videos on them. And I think they're excellent for the money. Now, this isn't all of them I've got. The set I think was a 10-piece set and then it came with the church key. It and uh, it's got a striking cap on it too if you're gonna strike your beer open and, uh, and then it came with the the interchangeable bit driver handle so 12 piece set and some bits but I think it was I think $35 when I bought it uh, that was 2011 I, and we're at the end of 2017 right now it's been a few years. The price might have changed. The size of the kit might have changed. I'm not sure. But I wasn't going to carry them all up here from my barn. I just wanted to kind of go over them a little bit. These nice little divots for your thumb. They're real comfortable. Have the triangular shape. Kind of just fit in your hand real nice. And these are the smallest ones. They don't have the hex shank, but you're not going to put a whole lot of torque on that little guy anyway. And then these are the big ones, biggest of the set. And as you can tell, I, I've there. These are well used. They live in my barn in my box. And they ha they are rusting on me, but you know it's a tool. It doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, I've used this one right here, this big, big flathead. I've I've actually used the striking cap on it a little bit. I I'm not gonna sit there and just beat on it and beat on it, and beat on it. I got chisels for that, but that I've used that for. You know, sep separating an oil pan from an engine block or separating a, a tail shaft housing on a transmission or, you know, separating a transfer case, something like that. You know, popping the two ha two pieces apart. And, you know, you get that right up in there and kind of tap on it a little bit, give it a, some mild taps. And works great. Something you really can't do with other drivers. Uh, and the magnets on these are great. I mean, I can. I can. The way that sticks to those. Those two right there, I can't hardly keep apart. Yeah. I've got some other ones here for a kind of a comparison. And these up here are a set, are part of a set from Harbor Freight, I believe, is where these came from. And uh, these stay in the house. These are what we use up here around the house. And there's some bigger ones and some smaller ones and stubbies and. I just grabbed a couple because they have the two different handle styles. These kind of have that little thumb divot in them. Soft grip. And these have kind of that knurling uh, rubber nipples and they're not these aren't falling off yet and they're not brand new. 
but they don't see a whole lot of hard use or chemicals either. And they have a spot in the back of them. Put a wrench on. I wouldn't go tapping on that. I wouldn't go hitting that with a hammer. I, I don't think it would hold up. It might. But. And those work real good for up here around the house. I, I just don't think they would hold up very long. Hard use. Out, you know, out in my barn. I. I don't think the tips would hold up or the handles would hold up. I'm getting beat on. And the magnets, where I can feel them sticking, they're not. Yeah, I can feel it sticking there, but it's not going to pick that driver up like the other one did. And then... I have these three, and this is a pretty much a brand new driver. I don't have much use on it at all. I uh, only got, I think, two or three of these Instinct Handle snap-ons, and they were warranties that I got for a bunch of these old black hard handles that were my dad's and that when he passed away we opened his toolbox up and they were all just corroded and disintegrated and so I got a hold of snap on and sent them in and this is what they gave me back was a few of these and I wish I could find more of these old black hard handled ones I just they're kind, even though they're kind of smooth I, just, I like that handle size and that I like these instinct handles, but I got really big hands, and that's a big handle. Because if I put that beside number two here, those are relatively the same size, same size driver. Look at the size difference in those handles. And up here is another number two, that uh, Harbor Freight. It, it's even substantially smaller. Now, I got big, like I said, big hands, and that fits me pretty good, but somebody with smaller hands, I could see really not liking that grip. And then I have couple of these snap-ons that are a little newer than these black ones and none of the magnets on these even that brand new one none of these magnets you can feel it sticking but it's just it's the magnet on these are probably on par with the Harbor Freight maybe just a little bit stronger but, and then I have this guy, this cobalt. And the handle on it's not too bad. It's a not quite as rounded as it looks. It's got some flats on it to keep it from rolling. It's a ratcheting driver. It's in the middle position there. Yeah, it's a little ratcheting. Those are the angles. And there's all the bits for it. It's got its little holder here. But this lives in a drawer in the kitchen. And if I'm putting something together in the house or uh, just kind of tinkering around up here in the house with something, a lot of times working on the furnace or something, we'll grab this so you can kind of... Having that pivoting head on it's kind of nice in certain spots in the house. But... I I don't mind the grip on these. Really, I'm not I'm not real picky about a screwdriver grip. Now, all of these function fine, but I would have to say uh, outside of these snap-ons, these have to be my favorite. And for the like I said, a 14 piece or 12 piece set 
of these for $35 that's held up as well as they have for five, six years. Even if you had to buy a new set every 10 years. This, if you bought that same set with these instinct handles from Snap-on, I'm not even sure because I, I don't have access to a truck. But I'm going to guess that's a $150, $180 set. $200, I don't know. Is it worth it for a homeowner? Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. I, I would say you really can't go wrong with something like this. A good striking cap. Solid. Good tip, strong magnets. Well, from a, you know, and Channel Lock might not be the best name in the world as far as tools, but I, I definitely don't think they're bad. And I've another further news. I might be looking at having a different position at my job. In which case, I will be more tool room or maintenance uh, applications. And I will be going and getting a Harbor Freight 5-drawer rolling cart. And filling it up with some stuff to take in with me. So I will be, if I get that position, look for more reviews or more videos I'm not much of a reviewer but uh, more videos on just kind of cheap do-it-yourselfer stuff because a lot of my good stuff will be going to work with me probably and I'll be replacing it with probably stuff very similar to these and if you have pets, I just picked this up for my wife the other day on Amazon. She was, she'd been wanting one for a while and, uh, cause we don't, our kids are our animals and she was wanting one. So I picked that up for her. I was pretty disappointed when I got it cause it looks like it's just a hacksaw blade glued into a piece of wood I was like well heck I can make one of those and so if this works as good as it says for grooming the dogs I'll probably be making a bigger one for the horse and our donkey and you can look out for that video too if you're interested thanks for watching